Hello and welcome to another online Zend video. Uh, my name is Kevin Schrader. I'm the technology evangelist for Zend Technologies, and I'm going to be taking a look today at Simple Cloud, which is part of a Zend Framework 1.11. Uh, Simple Cloud um, has a couple of different features that are built into it that are used to uh, connect to cloud-based services. You have a document database, a message queue, and the one we're going to be looking at today is file storage. File storage is actually very easy um, and uh, to do. It's you know just a simple web service called uh, getters and setters basically is what it comes down to. Um, but it allows you to store large amounts of data, make that data available, and do it in a way that um, doesn't require any kind of local storage. It's actually quite quick when you work over a uh, when you're working over the, the Amazon network. So this is an application that I uh, built for our, our, our cloud application platform webinar I did on December 1st, and I'm going to show you a little bit about what uh, this uh, application actually does. So I'm going to run this on a VM. This is actually running on my CentOS uh, machine right here, and um, Oops, wrong one. <laughs> That's all right. I like doing things live, so we're not going to uh, we're not going to fix that. We're going to just rerun it again. Um, so okay, now we're running on there. Okay, and I'm going to call myself Zend, and I'm going to upload an individual image, and it's going to be uh, this one right here. I won't, <laughs> won't upload my birth certificate, um, and I'm going to have it choose all these individual sizes. Actually, I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose my uh, QR code one, do a, a much smaller one. We'll upload that. And what this does, it just uh, processes this information. It's actually running on the job queue server, connecting to S3 uh, to actually download the images. And it uh, looks like we're done now. View the in completed uh, files, and now we can see a you know, height of 50. Ooh, there we go. Um, what does this look like with a height of 500? Yeah, there we go. Um, a thousand and you can see that there now this isn't so interesting you know just because of what we're seeing here let's take a quick look at our AWS management right now I have a bucket and this bucket is right now it says that it's empty but I'm gonna refresh here all right we go here and we see that we now have a public directory a temp directory which uh, has a couple of temporary files in there um, we have this public directory which I created which should have a whole bunch more temporary files. And this is really this is just a bucket. It's just a bunch of stuff that's being thrown out there. It's not uh, it's not um, uh, uh, structured. It's just basically storing files. Really easy to do. So if we take a look at what this actually looks like to access it, uh, the first thing we do is take a look at our bootstrap file. I create a storage adapter based off of uh, the configuration that I provided up here and I say that I'm going to be using S3. Basically any kind of adapter uh, that uh, corresponds to um, Zen Cloud storage service uh, you can uh, configurably uh, make available uh, in this any file. Now there's a couple of things that we do here um, again all real pretty much simple. Um, what we do is we in our task here we call set source file and what that does is it basically creates a file name um, we give it a unique ID and then we call store item on it and that does is web service call and it stores it in uh, the file name so we provide a file name and a file very similar to uh, you know, file put contents and um, that's then stored in S3 then when we're doing our processing a little bit later on we actually um, call our storage adapter calling fetch, fetch item on the, store, on the source file which is the virtual file name, which starts from the bottom of the bucket name. In this case, it's called Zen Cap Images. And uh, so you do that, and you make it available. And then later on, we actually, where we're actually storing this information, we actually store. Um, we're doing some structured data, so we store the structured data in uh, Simple DB. We're using the document storage engine. Um, but before uh, we actually do that, we store the individual item based off of a new file name, based off of public, the source ID, and then the width of it, and we're storing it as a PNG file. And um, so then when we want to actually download that, we go to our file here, and again, I should be checking this for you know, properly formatted uh, re requests, but I include my bootstrap file, get my storage adapter, and I call fetch item and I echo it. 
And that's pretty much all there is to uh, using the file storage mechanism in uh, simple, uh, simple Cloud in Zen Framework. Um, it's pretty much it. It's real simple to use. Uh, so go have some fun, play around with it.